Morning everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World, new off-grid project. 76 already at 10 o'clock in the morning and we are, I just finished working on videos. We're going to go out and try to finish planting today, early, before the uh, garden gets too hot. The sun isn't even on the garden yet fully, so see you outside. method of cutting grass today because the weed whacker is giving me trouble. I don't know what's going on but it acts like something's wrong. So I'm cutting all this area over here where the chicken coop used to be. The guys are out cutting trees out in the back expanding our meadow. And I want to cut all this area here and then I want to start stringing up the grapes so they can uh, they're gonna bear a lot of fruit this year. So I've got to get this all trimmed down here. That's gonna look nicer. And I can't run the lawnmower through there yet because there's a lot of junk down in there, rocks and stuff. That's where I was tossing rocks last year, so we've got to clean all the garbage and rocks and junk before we can mow with a proper mower. Anyway, I want to finish this up and then uh, have a coffee break and then we got some plants for the garden to do yet. Hey everybody, I just got some steaks out using my homemade steak puller. I'm going to stake up around the grapes and start stringing up uh, wires for them to grow on. So I've got to figure where I want to drive through with my garden entrance. I've got berries growing here. And I've got to have the grapevines growing along the uh, stakes here. Along the wires. That's sufficient. I'll put one here. Make sure it's straight. That's going to be very visible right there, so I want to make sure it's straight up. Looking good. Looking all right. Okay. 
hit a rock. I'm actually bending the stick. There's too many rocks out here. I don't want in there. Between these two guys. Oh, what's this? Divine. Again, make sure it's straight. Looks good. Well, I'm gonna put in a bunch of stakes in this row. Then I'm gonna pull out the ones in this corner and then uh, replace that and the old chicken wire with uh, proper wire for the grapevines to grow on. So Chris is servicing the truck, just giving it a thorough going over. And thank you, Chris. Yeah, no problem. Just uh, telling me everything it needs and checking all the, the uh, uh, lube. My head is boiling so I can't think of the words. Grease fittings. <laughs> I'm over here working on the fence line. I'm uh, just finished undoing that whole back row. Uh, the chicken wire that was on the whole back row. I just finished undoing all that and separating it. And then I'm going to pull out these stakes along that row. And then I can start uh, beautifying that section as well. And I think because we need so much more garden space to become self-sufficient, we're going to need a lot more garden space. So I'm probably going to till that chicken run as well and uh, plant more vegetables there because um, I just realized how small this is once we planted it. <laughs> it's not much for, for a whole year of food. Not at all. Because you got to figure you want to put away uh, maybe 100 pounds or so of corn and 50 to 100 pounds each of all your beans and, and peas and things to get you through the year. So it's going to be a lot. Well, just giving you an update. It's not really exciting what I'm doing here, unwinding little wires. So uh, I didn't show you all that, but I'm going to start pulling these stakes out. Still cleaning. Kind of prettiest place up. Chris has got the air compressor going, running for something about the truck.
Uh, slowly getting it cleaned up. Looking better and better. Yeah, a lot to do, especially around the grapes once I lift them off the ground. Then I'm going to put cardboard down and then mulch around in between the grapes for a permanent barrier along that row. I'm stringing up the grapevines. We are going to have grapes this year. So I've got to run one more wire on the top and then I can string up the grapes onto the poles and we'll have a decent looking uh, grape trellis, if that's the right word.